Uh, hello, uh, this is my first vlog about my year, well, however long in uh, Sejong teaching uh, teaching English in uh, South Korea. Uh, I'll just start from the beginning. Um, I uh, am going to be teaching English in a um, private school in Sejong City in South Korea for um, uh, for a year or however long, but contracts for a year. Uh, I think there's renewal options and so on and so forth. Excuse me. Oh, lovely. Oh, my God. <sighs> God, it is, it is actually really warm today. And um, I'm so glad I got this big two litre bottle of, um, uh, of water just uh, in the fridge. Uh, even with the air conditioning one over there, it's uh, still very, very warm. Uh, yeah, uh, God knows what it's like back home in the UK. Uh, yeah, so I might as well just uh, start from the beginning. So, um, so yeah, like I said, um, uh, teaching uh, teaching English for uh, for a year. Uh, so uh, I think the what was it the what day was it? Uh, was it the Monday? It was the Monday that I uh, set out. Um, funny, so I start the day, I uh, went over to see uh, my sister, went over to see her uh, boyfriend Simon, um, and my uh, nephew Jack. Um, uh, one one final visit to see the uh, see the family and obviously the cat as well. <laughs> so um, yeah, it was really, really, a great, really nice morning with them. Uh, watched a bit of night. My neighbour Totoro, the cat, was most fascinated by <laughs> by the film. Um, yeah, so um, then uh, then me and mum went over to the bus station in Ringwood. Uh, had a had a had a nice uh, uh, burger and chips uh, just across from the station, um, and uh, and yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, really nice burger. Thank you very much, Mum, for that. And then went over, then just literally walked off across the road to catch the bus um, to Heathrow. This would have been about h half two in the afternoon. Uh, got to Heathrow at like five. Um, and yeah, made my way to the terminal, got on the plane. Not too much drama there, really. Just uh, the usual uh, usual stuff there, you know, just nothing too remarkable there. Flew into... Um, uh, so I've got, uh, the plane was, uh, I had a spare seat next to me, but even then it was difficult to sleep, so didn't get any real sleep on the plane. Watched three films, I think it was um, a new Batman film, Robert Pattinson. Um, I'll just say he's the best Batman I've ever seen, but the worst Bruce Wayne I've ever seen. <laughs> you know, oh, you know, you know what he, re you know what he reminded me of as Bruce Wayne. You, you know. You know Elliot from ET when he's in his uh, in, in his uh, costume um, halfway through the film. That's what Robert Pattinson as Bruce Wayne reminds me of. Oh, there goes my uh, phone. <laughs> Hang on, that my phone is supplying the light to me. Uh, there we go, and I just dropped that there. So there we go. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Robert Pattinson, terrible Bruce Wayne, but a damn good Batman. He's got the voice and everything. So uh, yeah, good good spot there. Uh, what else? Watch what Saving Mr. Banks again. Uh, it's it great. It gets better every time I see it. Watch The Secret Garden uh, from, from like uh, from a film from childhood. Um, yeah, uh, got off the plane, uh, and that's when uh, that's when the that's when it all started. Had to um, had to had to do a bunch of uh, a bu bunch of COVID nonsense. Um, uh, a lot of. Uh, Q codes and that sort of thing, um, but yeah, I managed to get through that all fine in the end. Um, uh, what happened next? Uh, oh yeah, got the got the old uh, thirty day phone sim. Um, uh, then had to go do, go do my COVID test um, at another section of the airport. Uh, all, all relatively straightforward, and yeah, got. Um, and yeah, I managed to get to my accommodation that night. It must have been about eight in the evening when I finally got there to um, uh, my accommodation, which was less of a hotel room and more of a more of a studio uh, new studio flat to rent. But I liked it. It was very peaceful. Um, and yeah, just uh, just nipped over the uh, road for di well, not nipped over the road di downstairs for dinner. Just uh, did uh, things the South Korean way. Got uh, just got some noodles and uh, there was like some. Um, 
it's like it's, uh, like two chicken pieces, like 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 actually in a little um, little warm tray sort of thing, um, just next to the counter. So I was like, yeah, okay, I'll get a couple of those. Lovely. Uh, yeah, and um, uh, yeah, and then then the next day, <laughs> next day was a really good one, but it started off a bit difficult because I got to the airport, got there in perfect time for my bus uh, from Incheon. Yeah, it's Incheon Airport, by the way, Incheon to Sejong. Um, I was due to get the 8.55, but I was waiting in the wrong area. Uh, I was waiting at the uh, at gate 11. I should have been waiting at 11A, below 11. Uh, so, yeah, so, so I had to get my next uh, next ticket, so I had to wait around for that a bit, uh, which is a bit annoying. But uh, hey, I got... Um, but hey, took a, took a really nice air-conditioned bus ride uh, from Incheon to Sejong, about a couple of two, three hours. Uh, I think even then at CJ I got off at the wrong one. I think I got off at the government complex when I should have got off at the bus station. But hey, it was my first time at CJ. It's not like uh, it's, it's not like the uh, it's not like there was a, it's not like there was a display in English. So there's no way I could have possibly known I was in the right place or in the wrong place. But hey, uh, but yeah, uh, got off there. A uh, really nice day. Uh, it must have been like one in the afternoon. Yeah, it was about maybe one. Maybe at twelve one or something uh, when I was there, and um, no, it must have been about one anyway. Anyway, uh, from there, um, uh, my uh, to um, to the fellow English teachers um, at the uh, school staff and Joyce came to uh, uh, pick me up, and uh, yeah, and they were very welcoming from the start. Um, just dropped off my things straight at my new flat. So it's like I didn't even get to see the new flat. It's just uh, just throw the bags in, just throw my t t two bags into the room, and uh, there we go. <laughs> and uh, just nipped back out, nipped straight over to the uh, school. Uh, well, I say nipped straight over the school. Went to um, went to the Lotteria around the corner. Lotteria is a burger chain uh, in the um, out in. Um, out in the in East Asia, there was a that chain was in Vietnam as well. Uh, yeah, so Saf very kindly bought me a nice burger and just had that in the. Uh, we just went back to the last room, just had that in that, and yeah, from there I did for the rest of the day from about two forty till seven o five. I did about oh, I must have done about six observations with Saf and Joyce, and I think there's. Might have been some of the other teachers as well, uh, Juan and Sarah, uh, the, a couple of the other English-speaking teachers um, did a couple of uh, observations with them. But yeah, six observations in the day, seeing how it all works. And yeah, uh, yeah, it's interesting. Their rooms are sort of like uh, rooms of about 12 students, all done from a giant television. Uh, get to see, got to see some of the interesting techniques they were using. And yeah. Um, yeah, so got to observe my first uh, first bit of teaching um, for the day. Uh, of course, I because I didn't see, see the whole thing. I think I just nipped off to nipped off the toilet a couple of times, nipped off to Starbucks briefly. Because at this point, right, proper jet lagged. Night before, four and a half hours sleep. So, um, so yeah, you can imagine what the jet lag was like. So just yawning away um, by by the by the end of the day. But uh, it was it was it was cool because when eight o'clock came along, when we uh, headed home, me, Saf, Sarah, and Juan. That's my washing machine going off. Plays a plays a corny little song, but yeah, um, yeah. Uh, the four of us we went to a Mexican restaurant, had some um, a lovely quesadilla with the guys who were just sort of. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, just just uh, just talking about stuff and uh, yeah, uh, and there was a, a whole plate of salad with the quesadilla as well, but it was covered in this really spicy Korean sauce, and it was just like, um, no, I don't want any salad now. I mean, it was a nice sauce, but it was sort of like sushi and ice cream. The two things don't get, the, the the spicy sauce and the salad just didn't go together. Uh, yeah, then <laughs> then I got out, uh, got into my flat, unpacked, and. Um, uh, must have about ten. I finally got into my flat, just just unpacked, and the mattress there. There was no bedding. There was no bedding. I literally just had to get all my clothes, make a pillow, and just cover myself in my towels and uh, clothes and everything, just to just have something to sleep under, <laughs> which was just pretty bad. Um, but uh, yeah, it was alright. I managed to get a good. 
I should get another, I should get another, what, what, five hours sleep that night. So, barely any sleep at all, thanks to the jet lag. Bit of a nightmare, but, uh, but yeah. Um, and next day, uh, more observations. Uh, yeah, um, what did I do? do, do did I miss anything? No, I didn't. More observations next day, so this will be a th- so yet so the day after the Wednesday today would have been a th- that today that the day I'm talking about would have been a Thursday. So what happened then? Uh, what happened? Um, more observations, <laughs> more close observations, and this ha- and this Thursday happened to be the last day because um, the Friday because Friday was a holiday, so Thursday is the last day. So I got to see some observations between then. I had to go to a this um, this like clinic on the fourth floor to get some health stuff done this was all in preparation for getting a some sort of card or something to some work card or something so yeah that's that's that was that it was uh had to do things like get a blood test get an x-ray that sort of that sort of rubbish uh yeah um uh, so yeah that was day two and yeah just more observations really and yeah, I got to see some interesting things. So it's uh, it's not just it's not just the the teaching at the school is not just like uh, slideshows and repeats and that. There's uh, stuff called creative thinking projects and stuff, DTP as we call it, and that involves the teachers <laughs> filming uh, on their uh, on their smartphone and that, and um, and filming students' performance. So that could be singing, could be an interview. So got to see a few of those. Uh yeah um uh yeah so I got so I got to got to witness some of that and yeah from there um uh yeah what else happened um yeah that was that for that day and uh yeah oh and I forgot to mention they um uh the the company very kindly gave me a big bag of like like uh, ham and mustard like a sort of a welcoming gift and that's contained obviously a bit of ham a bit of sausage meat a bit of mustard and it took me until it took me five days to get through all that and oh it was so good just uh, cooking some of that up some grilled leeks not grilled leeks steamed leeks what I'm talking about uh, yeah lovely um, uh, lovely breakfast uh, ham and steamed leeks it's the best uh, yeah um uh, so yeah, from so yeah, Friday was just all about uh, just all about uh, getting settled in. Uh, so um, so yes, uh, um, uh, Saf the other English teacher took, took me around um, took me around a big shopping centre, uh, for some food and some and a, like a sort of like a discount uh, sort of shop like called Daiso, sort of like not quite Poundland, but um, but but yeah, you can sort of get some. Uh, inexpensive stuff uh, at this place called Daiso, which I never would have found by myself, so massively appreciate that. Uh, yeah, so I went there a few more times, uh, picked up some things, picked up a nice little uh, nice little uh, memory foam pillow behind me. Uh, yeah. Uh, and, oh, and I remember, uh, and of course, I did get some bedding afterwards. Uh, Juan, one of the teachers, uh, uh, let me have some of um, the previous teacher's uh, bed stuff, so like uh, so some sheets and a pillow, so very kind of him and very kind of the teacher who went back to Hawaii and doesn't know that I have her stuff, so yeah, very good. Oh, oh my god, the cold water's just perfect there like this, so uh, what else, what else? Um, so yeah, so we had a holiday from Friday to Tuesday, and I just used the time to get settled in, and um, and yeah, just uh, just uh, get some get some online training done for the job. So use those days. Yeah, just uh, generally get settled in. Just uh, just do the it's pretty boring, but uh, what, what hey, it's what I needed to do. So yeah, so. Uh, so today obviously is Saturday. Uh, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday were my first three teaching days. Uh, a bit of a bit of a nightmare. Uh, first day, um, I didn't have my login at this point, so I had, so I had to borrow one login for um, for my Wednesday classes. Um, I accidentally collected books that I should not have done, 
and yeah, I forgot to do some uh, video projects, but um, yeah, I did, did, and uh, I wasn't sure about what lessons I was teaching, but hey, I, I learned quite a bit on those, those first six lessons. Um, six lessons over, f uh, each lesson would be about 40 minutes, five minute break in between, so f so it works on a, um, works on a, uh, 45 minutes per lesson uh, basis so this would be the day would be about 240 to 705 the actual teaching uh, admin so uh, as well so that's 12 till 8 so um, uh, yeah uh, so yeah so, so yeah just uh, so teaching so this was teaching children from uh, must have been about five years old to about something looks like to five to maybe 11 or something that seems like the age ranges I was teaching uh, yeah um, and yeah for uh, like 40 minute lessons each and oh it was so hard just keeping time because my uh, CELTA training um, required um, the lessons I was teaching were required to go a little bit slower, but these ch these lessons for children, you have to go really fast just to get through everything. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'll just give. I've got a program here, for example. Uh, yeah, so this would be. So there we go. If uh, yeah, so if you can make any sense of that uh, in your first three days, you're. A, you're a pretty damn incredible teacher. But yeah, no self training is going to pay for that. But yeah, everyone at the uh, school was very, very helpful. So um, uh, yeah, so so they helped me survive the first few days. So I was teaching the right things, whether I was teaching it well or not. Uh, we'll see. But hey, first three days uh, with not too much training because um, there was a little confusion about my training. I was, I was due to be, I, was due to, I think I was due to spend a week training in Seoul, but due to visa delays that didn't happen so then I was due to do some online training but then the visa arrived so I had to prepare for that so sort of arrived with not very much training just a little bit of online videos uh, it's never going to prepare you but uh, yeah I, I survived those first few days then uh, the next day Thursday five lessons that day there's one break in between went a lot lot better uh, still a little little bit confusing but um uh, but but yeah um, uh, yeah we're a little bit smoother today uh, on Thursday and yesterday I did six more lessons and they were f much easier lessons there weren't any like um, it was just very it was much more straightforward just textbook uh, teaching uh, of a few uh, songs and that so I even managed to finish some of the lessons as well which was uh, which was remarkable. Um, uh, yeah, but, uh, but, 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 yeah, um, but my co-teachers have, um, helped me out. So, yeah, that's, uh, that was lessons. Um, students are really cool, uh, really good students. Uh, some are a bit noisy. I think there's one particular class I don't particularly like, but all the other classes I quite like as well. The funny thing is, I think the lessons are going much smoother when the classes are smaller some reason that uh, I'm able to finish my lessons much quicker with small classes why that is I don't know but but hey uh, I will get better over time uh, yeah so yeah so but um, oh the the, stu the little ones are so adorable um, I remember the first uh, I remember that first uh, what was it that first Wednesday I came in for observations some of the st my fir the first impression I got was uh, some of the really little ones were like were, like coming up to me and like wanting to like touch touch my hair as well they were like, they were, like doing this it was like they couldn't they would probably never seen a um probably never seen a um, like a Caucasian bloke with uh, with long hair this color before this sort of lighter color I think I'm I, th I think I'm the only apart apart from one who's got his got his hair dyed I think I'm the only one I think I'm the only w one in the school with with natural not bl not black hair you know <laughs> so that blew their mind once uh and the next day uh my one of my um one of the bilingual teachers Joyce she was telling me Oh yeah, one of the little ones asked, "Was that new teacher wearing a wig?" And uh, no, I can I can confirm this is not a wig. This was um, I'm growing my hair for about uh, uh, four and a half years. My last haircut was back in Nam. Seriously, it was um, in 2018. I was teaching in Vietnam, and my last haircut was my last week in Vietnam. So I've been growing my hair ever since, which has its advantages. When I wake up in the morning, my hair isn't sticking up. 
Uh, it doesn't take doesn't take forever to gel it back into the right place. That's uh, one reason why I like the long hair. So, second reason I stand out a bit, and uh, I am standing out. Uh, yeah, which is which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's been the classes. And how about just generally life in Vietnam? Uh, Vietnam, South Korea. I don't, I don't know what country I'm in. Uh, yeah, it's um, I'm. It's good that they've got a recycling program, but it is difficult to just go through your bin and just uh, just separate um, separate all your um, recyclable stuff from your food waste stuff. I still haven't really figured out what, what you do about the food waste. I think it gets collected on a Monday, but God knows where. I might, uh, I might message one of the other teachers, see if they can help me with that. Uh, yeah. Uh, and... Um, yeah, uh, and I'm learning some things like asking for espresso. Uh, espresso hana jusio. Uh, that means one espresso, please. Gabang, uh, sorry, gabang, gabang, gabangum. I think it's gabangum per jusio. No bag, please. I think that's what that means. Uh, I'll double check that later. Um, uh, uh thank you. Anyong, uh, hello, goodbye. That's just how I greet people. I don't know if that's the correct way, like formally or informally, but um, no one's corrected me so far. So that's uh, something I'm picking up a few words. But yeah, Hana means one. Um, and yeah, and just a second, bear with me. This is from uh, Paris Baguette. Uh, let's just break this one in half. Uh, brioche bun, bit of uh, oh, a bit of uh, cream and red paste in there. This is not chocolate. This is red paste. Hang on. Mm. That is just lovely. I mean, that that just tastes amazing. Uh, cream red paste. They do those with custard as well. Um, basically, if you've been anywhere in Asia, in East Asia, you'll know that you'll probably know Paris baguettes, and. Um, they have Paris baguette in South Korea here. Absolutely lovely. And, uh, yeah, uh, very nice coffee. Very nice uh, treats. Um, uh, the whole the whole just-eat culture of getting your... Ordering a meal as a takeaway is very much a thing here. That's pretty much what I've been doing. Just going to kiosk and get my food there. I have been very good for my breakfast, though. So, um, usually just, um, just meat and some steamed leeks or steamed vegetables of some kind uh, in the morning with a cold brew coffee. Absolutely lovely. Um, and, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, what else? Um, but, yeah, I've been um, very big on the burgers as well, <laughs> burger and chips. Um, uh, the little kiosks there have been probably a little bit too much of that. Uh, but that's okay. But I found a um, found a place called Viet uh, Moi Vietnam Kitchen. So I've been getting beef pho the last couple of nights, and I've got to say, the pho here is is amazing. It's not quite as good as in Vietnam, but considering we're not in Vietnam, it's pretty damn good. It's it's just been the most amazing way to finish a day. Uh, and if you don't know what pho is, it's like um, it's like a beef soup with noodles uh, or. Or it can be anything, and I'm I'm going to try some bun cha next. That's the best food in the world. There, I might even try a ban me for lunch a bit later on today. I've just um just had some breakfast earlier. Had a bit of uh, sausage, uh, just bit that uh, sausage meat, a bit of uh, kiwi fruit. Lovely. Uh, so I'll have a ban me later for lunch. I think there's a, there's a place down there. Ban me is a uh, Vietnamese uh, thing. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if there's very much else to tell. I. I'll consider doing this as a live stream, perhaps, because, uh, oh, excuse me, yeah, maybe Twitch or something, um, uh, but yeah, I'll probably upload this onto YouTube or something, uh, yeah, uh, nearly at, uh, nearly at 30 minutes, can't think of much else really to tell so far, but, um, but yeah, the, but yeah, the, uh, yeah, I've been doing the whole ramen noodles thing as well, um, uh, yeah, I've been trying out the various ones, I like the... Uh, there's a really nice sesame sort that's uh, very nice. Um, uh, yeah, but yeah, it's mostly been just meat, noodles, a bit of steamed vegetables for uh, for dinner, and I've been just having way too much sugar. Uh, far, far too much sugar. What is wrong with me? 
And yeah, I'll just do a quick uh, spin uh, spin around. Here is the here is the flat. It's basically just one room. Uh, the bathroom in there. I think um, I'm, I'm usually absolutely knackered uh, after I get back from work, uh, so I'm probably not going to do one for a while. But, um, but yeah, after work, it's usually just um, get in the shower, watch, it, have some, excuse me, have some beef uh, or something, and watch a bit of Disney Plus. I've been watching um, a bit of Simpsons, a bit of Family Guy, a bit of Futurama, but uh, also watching the I'm watching the newer Star Wars films. I watched. Um, I haven't done. I haven't done Force Awakens yet, but I have done Last Jedi, uh, Rise of Skywalker, Solo, and partway through Rogue One right now, seen them all before, but um, uh, yeah, uh, Rise of Skywalker, I remember liking it first time when I watched it, it had, definitely had, it had an Indiana Jones um, Last Crusade vibe to it, but um, watching it now, there's, it's, I still like it, I like it more than, the, than episodes two and three, but um, but even that, it's not much the story. It's just find, find. It's just basically a scavenger hunt. You know, find this, find this, to find this, to find this, to find this, to find the emperor. And Finn does nothing. Oscar Isaac um, Poe has a lot to do. At least he's he's interesting. But then they add a few too many new characters, um, and uh, it it needs a director's cut. Really, I I, th I think there could be a decent film there if they uh, maybe release a direct cut um, uh, watch Last Jedi again um, looking back it's uh, it's maybe maybe for some it's a little depressing it does seem to be a lot of suicide missions maybe that element's a little depressing but Last Jedi is still my favourite Star Wars film I think um, I watched Solo again uh, a couple of nights ago, and it's better than I remember. I remember liking Solo okay uh, first time watching it, but I actually really like it now. I, 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 th I think on second watch, it's actually a lot, lot better. I just remember, I remember falling asleep a little bit through some of the uh, action, though. It's, uh, that's the weak part. Um, I don't think Ron Howard directs action very well. Um, uh, it doesn't, 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 it's not not in a suspenseful way of course he did rush very brilliantly but um but that was sports so um it, 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 he set up the stakes very well on that but but otherwise it's it's just a really good character film i i i, I think the guy who played uh, young han solo was brilliant uh i think woody harrelson's brilliant uh interesting character um maybe the whole corporation thing with paul bettany and um uh, what's the name amelia clark um uh, could have been a bit more interesting, and um, uh, but but yeah, and the acting in that film's fantastic. I mean, some of the best acting in a Star Wars film ever. Just just put the acting of Solo next to the terrible acting in the first three films, like like Force, uh, not Force Awakens, um, Phantom Menace, and the other two, and the other two. Uh, just put the and just watch those, then watch the acting in Solo. It's like oh my god, give these, give these people in solo Oscars, wow. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I like all the Star Wars films, uh, except episode two. That's, uh, that's the only one I don't particularly like. Like, what was the story to that? Cypher Deus gets a clone army to blah, 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 Count Dooku, blah, 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 Jango Fett, blah, blah, blah planet that makes air guitar sounds when when grenades blow up or something what even was the story to that film and then blah 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 anakin blah 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 i don't like sand it's for me it's the worst star wars film it's the only one i just don't i really don't like it's the only one i just wouldn't watch ever again but yeah enough about star wars uh, but yeah, that's the yeah, that's Disney Plus. Uh, I want to watch all the TV series. There's like a ton of TV series. There's also Clone Wars film. I haven't seen that, so I'm gonna get through as much Star Wars as possible uh, with my Disney Plus account for the year. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's me. That's my vlog about um, about South Korea slash my uh, uh, opinions on Star Wars <laughs> and uh, Disney Plus. So yeah, uh, so I'll leave it there. Um, yeah. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll do another one very soon. Uh, yeah, and I'll probably do another one next week when I've done a whole week of uh, teaching. So, uh, yeah, take care. See you again. Bye-bye.